Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus, here with another Magic 2014 Let's Play video. So at the end of my last episode, I had managed to defeat the Dark Carnival. Turns out my blue deck was actually really good at countering this one in terms of uh, taking some of his creatures out of play and countering certain spells such as his Anthem of Rakdos. And now I'm onto the Dodge and Burn deck. Now everybody seems to dislike this deck when they're fighting it, but absolutely love it when they're playing it. So it's basically, from what I've seen, it's basically a counter deck where it has lots of burn cards, lots of counter spells, uh, sorry, it's a control deck. So it's got lots of burn cards, lots of counter spells. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty badass. Uh, it's a bit of a bitch. I've tried to defeat it a couple of times already. You saw me one attempt my Chant of Moldia deck. It's supposed to be a good card, a good, uh, deck against this particular one doesn't seem to be particularly effective but uh somebody recommended using the sliver hive deck at work so uh i'm gonna give that a go and see how i get on now uh, i'm hoping to get uh, a couple of decent sliver cards down straight away what's this then one land well that's not gonna work let's draw a new hand so we've got three land got a predatory sliver uh got a megantic sliver only kind of good for late game but uh yeah that's not too bad three land it's not bad not a bad start Hopefully I can get a hive stirrings down pretty quickly, would be fairly handy. Because uh, that gives me two two sliver two sliver tokens to start uh, buffing them up nicely, which would be quite cool. Yeah, there we go, hive stirrings. I have got like three or four of them in my deck, so uh, so let's uh, play my predatory sliver. See, oh, well, I won't be able to attack with it this turn, I don't have summoning sickness, but uh, so we're just going to uh, let that roll over for now. He'll probably play two red, two red, two red mana, two red lands. Is he going to play a searing? No, he's going to play a kiln fiend. Usually, if I uh, get well, I've tried, I've tried, tried playing this uh, this deck a couple of times with my sliver deck, and if I manage to get out, um, what's the word I'm looking for? What does this one do? Unflinching courage, enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and has trample and life link. Pretty good card. But uh, yeah, if I get, um, if I get, uh, blah, 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 what am I looking for? Um, Play you first, play Hive Stirrings. Uh, yeah, if I manage to get um, a, bl a Blur Sliver out and I try and attack him, he basically uses a, um, a, st a Searing Spear like almost straight away, which is pretty crazy. So uh, he's going to play a Terramorphic Expanse. I'm guessing he's going to pop that straight away for maybe a Blue Land. No, he's not. So he's, uh, yes, he is popping it for a Blue Land, I'm guessing. So I'll come onto the Battlefield Tapped, as that's what Terramorphic Expanse does. So he's going to play another Kiln Fiend. I'm going to, have to take these out pretty quickly because uh, they're they're pretty crazy. Those cards. They uh, if you basically what they do is if you uh, get uh, whenever whenever he uses an instant or sorcery, they get plus three zero until the end of the turn, which is pretty mental. So I am actually going to buff up my um, Predatory Sliver with uh, my Unflinching Courage. So it will hopefully make it a little bit more resistant to. Uh, to any, uh, what are they called, um, any instance he might have. So he's going to defend with both his kiln feeds. And um, no, he he did not decided not to uh, kill off my. Uh, so only one of them got killed off. In interest, interesting. Oh, why, why did only one of them get killed off? That was really weird. So let me guess, he's going to char my. Uh, yeah, he's going to char that. But that one does four damage. So annoyingly, that one's going to get killed off. How very annoying. So it's his turn. That one will actually do four damage to me, which I can't really do anything about right now. So it turns out my uh, what's the word I'm looking? For? What's the word I'm looking? For? My own courage wasn't enough to save my uh, sliver. Very annoying. This is where his deck is going to get very, very frustrating very quickly, and I can't actually play anything this turn frustratingly. So I'm going to have to skip my attack for now. Use this one as a blocker next turn. Fingers crossed I might draw a land. Because if I can draw a land, I will actually be able to get my Megantic Sliver out. So he's going to play a Wee Dragonauts. Uh, it's a flying card, so I won't be able to block it. And he also that also gets buffed plus two zero whenever he plays an instant. But that one, one won't be able to attack this turn. So uh, so I'm going to block you. I'm, I'm, I'm theorizing. Oh no, he won't be able to burn me. So I will actually be able to uh, block this turn. Yes, another land. There we go. So I will actually be able to play my Megantic Sliver now. Is he going to play an instant? No. So I get a plus a six six creature down the battlefield, which is pretty mental. And he's going to have tr more trouble burning that now. So electrolyze. So I'm guessing he's going to do that to that one. Interesting. Unless he's got a couple more cards. No, he won't be able to. So that one will get dealt four damage. So hmm, that's annoying because I could block that one. But then that'll then leave me with. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually going to take the hit for seven. Going to risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. My turn. Another land. Excellent. So I can actually play my second Megantic Sliver. 
hopefully he's got nothing to counter that. He now has nothing to block with. And I've got two 9-9 creatures on the battlefield, which is pretty crazy. Is he going to block that at all? Nope. There's nothing he can actually really do, which is pretty cool. So I've got a 9-9 blocker as well now. So hopefully he won't be able to kill me off this turn. I'm not holding my breath, though. So he's just going to swing with his wee Dragonauts. Is he going to use an instant at all to buff it? Yes, he is. He's going to use a Searing Spear on me. Oh, God. Is it, am I going to lose now? Because he, he, is he going to do six damage and that one's going to get buffed? That's just mental. This deck is just crazy. <laughs> so that one's going to go to five. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of out. I've, I've kind of lost that. That is, that is mental. I don't believe this deck. Absolutely crazy. Okay, so I'm back with my uh, uh, Chant of More. I'm here with my Chant of More Dire deck. I've actually, I'm probably, at this point, I've probably cut about five jewels out of this. You've, so you've seen the first one, me losing with my Sliver deck. I've cut about five jewels now where I just lost badly, lot done quite well, and then just like he's, he's ground out the win. So I'm, I'm getting a little bit frustrated with this uh, with this particular deck right now. But uh, I'm going to keep I'm going to keep persisting. Hopefully I can do fairly well. I've got a few land. I could do with, I really could do with some uh, ramp cards, but uh, looks like I'm not going to get them straight away. Ooh, a, a dramatic entrance. So I need five land to play that one, which I don't quite have yet. But uh, I could play things something like the Avenger of Zendikar. When Avenger is enter the battlefield, put zero put a what zero one plant creature token on the battlefield for each land you control. Whenever I land it, that's a pretty cool card. The Avenger is enter card. Although I'm I'm not. I think the only way I'm going to, be able to play that is with a dramatic entrance, maybe. So, uh, ooh, another land. Excellent. So I will actually be able to play my dramatic entrance, as that will give me five land. Although I'm not holding my breath to be able to uh, get enough, get enough uh, land down in time, because I'm fairly sure he might be able to kill me off by then. So he's searching for more cards using that one. Basically, he can draw three cards, and if he discards a land, he gets to keep all of them. Pretty cool card, so he's not doing anything this turn. My turn. Ooh, County Heart Expedition. Now, do I play that now, or do I play... I can't play the Grazing Glade Heart, so... Whatever I land into buffer, so I'm going to play that, because that's going to allow me to ramp a bit quicker. And then I'm going to play a land as well, so that'll get a token on it. Excellent. So how many tokens do I need? Remove three quest counters from County Heart Expedition and then get two basic land cards, yes. So I need to get at least two more land down before I can get two land from that one. Is he going to do anything? Is he going to attack me? He's going to summon the Kiln Fiend. So that one will get buffed if he plays an instant or sorcery by plus two zero. Kind of a pain in the ass. Ooh, a Primeval Titan. So I get another card on my County Heart Expedition. I can actually play my Grazing Glade Heart now, which I just realised I should have done first. But never mind. Could have gotten two health. That was a bit, a bit, a bit idiotic, but never mind. So he's going to play a ter Terramorphic Expanse. Is he going to pop it now? Is he going to attack? I don't know. I'm guessing he's going to. I'm guessing he's going to burn. No, he's going to play another Kiln Fiend. So he's got two, two blue ones. So don't think he can burn that one. So he's going to pop that. Get another land down. Is he going to swing? No, he's not. Excellent. So uh, I can actually play a land down now. Ooh, so I could either play Sport Mound, whether I land in Spatford under your control, put a 1 1 green sapling creature down, or do I play my dramatic entrance and get my primeval titan down? Ooh, let's pop you first. Remove three and search your library to do basic land cards and put them onto your battlefield tap. So I'm going to do that. Unos dos, confirm. Then I'm going to play my dramatic entrance. Play my. Pro do now, do I play Avenger of Zendikar or Primeval Titan? Hmm. I'm going to play Primeval Titan this turn, I think. Because that will give me two more land and two more health. Excellent. There we go. I've got two blockers now as well. Now I'm going to. No, 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 no. No, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to keep that one alive as long as possible. I want as much health as possible. So I got a crap load of health that turn. Excellent. This is going much better than it has before. So now, do I block with these ones? Um, I'm going to block with one of them and let the other one go through, I think. But I'm assuming he's going to use some kind of burn card. Electrolyze, yes. So that one's going to get buffed, annoyingly. And that one will actually get killed off. Crap. Should have blocked with my uh, Grazing Glade Heart. Never mind. It's not the end of the world. So he's going to play another land. And that's the end of his turn. Oh, yes. Hit the Betrays. Right, I can hopefully get that out soon. So, Avenger of Zendikar. Now, do I play that or do I play Spore Mound? No, I think I'm going to play Avenger of Zendikar. That one will actually get a load of blockers down. 
Ha! Now, do I swing with this bad boy? No, I'm, I'm going I'm to leave that for now. So I've got a ton of blockers right now. A ton of blockers. Whenever I land into the battlefield, these will get buffed as well. So I'm hoping to get some kind of ramp card. So he's going to block. He's going to summon his charm breaker devils, and that's he's where he's going to end his turn. My turn. Ooh, I can play my path rovers or volamog. Almost crush your attack each turn if it's able. Yes, you're getting summoned. Please don't have a counter. Please don't have a counter. Yes, it's got summoned. <laughs> now, do I swing? That is the question. Is he going to block? He's going to block with both of them, so we'll actually kill both of them off. Excellent. That's worth it, in my opinion. I've got a ton of blockers. I've got an Olomox Crusher. I've got a Spore Mound in the, in the wings. Oh, I'm feeling much more confident. I actually feel like I could actually win now, which is where I wanted to be. Explore. So I'm going to play my Explore, because I, I can draw a card. Hope, please be a land. Yes, it's a land. So whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 green sack. So I'm actually going to play my... Uh, Spore Mound, but she's going to counter, annoyingly, never mind. That one will get buffed, not really the end of the world, but it will play a land. Searing Spear, what's he going to Searing Spear? My Olimor's Crusher, what a surprise. Has he got anything else? That, one, that one's going to become a 7 two. Oh, and it's got to attack. That's annoying, but at least I'll have to take out two of, his, two of his land cards, so he won't have as much mana to play. Um, so, will it kill that one off? It will kill that one off, thankfully. Now, I do actually have 11 land now, so I can actually play... Oh, no, I need 12 land, don't I? I'm seriously hoping I get a land land card. I'm so glad I've got 30 health and all these blockers right now, though. Ooh, Woodborne Behemoth. As long as you control 8 or more lands, Woodborne Behemoth gets plus 4, plus 4, and that's trample. That's cool. So I can't actually... S do I swing this turn with my Grazing Glade Heart? No, nah, skip my attack, and let's just play my Woodborne Behemoth for next turn. So I'm seriously hoping I get a land next turn, because then I'll actually be able to play my It the Betrays, which would be pretty cool. So I don't think he's feeling fairly confident right now. With all my blockers and 30 health, I'm feeling... So which one is he going to char? My Grazing Glade Heart. It's not the end of the world. Not my most useful card, considering I don't really have... Ooh, Fairhaven Elf. There we go. I can actually play that and get a land card down. Excellent. No, don't counter it. Counter the targets, but... Oh, you son of a bitch. Seriously thought I was actually going to be able to play my uh, It the Betrays there. But I am actually going to swing with you now. Unless he's got something else to be sleeve. I don't think he does, though. So I'm going to take 8 health from him. I'm seriously hoping I get a land on my next turn, because I finally play it the Betrays. Ah, oh, that'd be awesome. So he, is he going to do anything? So he's going to play a Wee Dragonauts, which I can't actually block, which is kind of annoying. But then he has no cards in his hand, so uh, please be a land. Or a Piccala Worm. So when Piccala Worm enters the battlefield, uh, when Piccala Worm dies, draw a card. Might as well play it. Why the hell not? I get seven life. So this has gone remarkably well all of a sudden. I'm actually feeling remarkably confident right now. All I can really do is one more land, and that would be me pretty much done, because then I could summon it the Betrays, and he'd be pretty much screwed. So his wee Dragonauts is going to get killed off. Death Dealer. I wonder what that, wonder what that does. What are that achievements for? I don't know. But I, I have an awful lot of tokens down on the battlefield. Defending myself. Land? Nope. Oracle of Moldire. You may play an additional land at each of your turns, play with the top card of your library revealed, and you may play the top card of your library if it's a land card. So he won't be able to counter that. Please be a land. There we go. Play a land card, so we'll actually be able to play It the Betrays next turn. I may as well swing... Oh, I've won! I don't care, I've actually won! <laughs> I bloody did it. Finally. Finally. Oh my god. So yeah. Finally did it. Chant of Moldire did come through in the end. It was a pain in the ass, but it came through. So I've defeated Dodge and Burn. Yes. I don't know what Death Dealer is, but I don't care. I've I've beaten It the Betrays and I'm on to Kamigawa. So uh on the far let flung plane of Kamigawa, you learn of a powerful samurai who possesses the scale of a white dragon. You must use all your skills to search Kamigawa, retrieve the scale, and move one step closer to completing the spell. So yeah, uh, at the end of this one, I get to unlock a new... Uh, oh, so I've actually got two um, two final duels, which I unlock two decks, which is the Swords of the Samurai and the Lords of Darkness. I've got three uh, three opponents in the way, so uh, Hidetsuku's Wrath, and a Ninja Gang, and an Azumi Swarm. 
but that will be for next video. Uh, I'm actually gonna leave the video there. I'm actually pretty exhausted. I've actually been recording for 40 minutes now. You're probably only gonna see about 15 minutes of that, which will be two jewels. Literally all I'm gonna show is the first one with the sliver deck, which I lost, and the last one in which I won. I'm gonna cut out every single other one from that because my God, this, this has been, that was exhausting trying to defeat that dodge and burn. I can see why people hate that deck. And yeah, that's just awful. I'm, I'm literally shaking because I've, I'm exhausted. That has exhausted me. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. As always, please comment my videos to let me know what you've enjoyed, what you haven't enjoyed, what you think I can do better. Just berate me because for that for, the, for these duels because I, I'm exhausted. I don't care. I know I've done bad. I've, I've really not enjoyed playing this deck at all. That was horrible. But yeah, uh, please also like my videos to show me that you're enjoying what I'm producing and uh, you're enjoying what you're watching. If you're new to my channel, it's always nice to see you subscribe and uh, sh to show me more that you want to see more of my content in the future. Again, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.